Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to Reseller Toolkit. So today we are going to be looking at this small parcel Royal Mail size guide. Now this obviously differs to the Helix size guide that I did a review on and you can feel free to check out that video. If you search my channel for Helix postal template it should come up provided obviously I've not put a card in this video but I may well remember to actually put a card in the top right hand corner at this moment and then you can just click that and go over to the video. But this is quite interesting now of course you do see a lot of these size guides around you do see even a fair few of these small parcel ones but they are slightly harder to find than the large letter and letter ones obviously they're more appealing but they are very very useful these small parcel ones i've also got one in a box form as well so it's actually quite a large box that would fit sort of on this table but it would actually be quite big for this table um, and essentially you put your parcel inside the box and then obviously you can work out the dimensions and whether it's going to fit as a small parcel with it being inside the box comfortably so that's quite interesting and because i've actually got one of those i may do a review on it however they, they are very hard to come by those box small parcel guides uh, i don't know whether royal, royal mail give them out themselves or not um, but i don't know whether you can even buy them you might be able to buy them um, but if so I reckon they'll be somewhat expensive for what they are but anyway today we are doing a review on this size guide here now this is made of plywood and so it's fairly firm there's obviously a little bit of bending in it there and it does concern me a little bit that maybe there might be some breakages in this item over time especially obviously when you're forcing things through stuff like that um, over and over upon occasion um, obviously it may get broken um, it may get torn or whipped or something like that um, just because it's not necessarily the strongest piece of wood but there is some strength there you can tell there is some strength there, there. so as you can see we've got royal mail size guide small parcel in brackets there maximum thickness 16 centimeters uh, maximum size 45 centimeters by 35 centimeters or obviously as it reads there in millimeters uh, we've got here maximum weight 2000 grams or two kilograms for a small parcel and we can also see around here box cut out size 16 uh, centimeters by 35 centimeters or again if you want to read it in millimeters you can do so essentially it's quite a nice looking size guide very useful as i mentioned and now what i'm going to do is i've just got a small little box just to give you an idea of putting something through one of these but as you can see it's fairly self-explanatory um obviously you guys will want to know more about the strength of it and stuff um and in my opinion the strength of it is okay it will probably hold up for a while but i would be careful when using it because if you're forcing things through i can see this getting bent quite um considerably and then may end up snapping or something like that so when you're using this i'd say take an element of care um but it does seem like it would be fairly long lasting so long as you do treat it with a little bit of care also actually before we go on to just putting something through it you can see there's a little hole up here i'm guessing that that's for a piece of string or something like that so you can hang it up on maybe a hook or something um, so that's a nice little added bonus there um, you could obviously hook it on something on your wall um, in a packaging area where you store your packaging so yeah so that's quite interesting and it's quite nice little addition to the item as well so let me get up this little box and let's just uh, actually utilize this item here. So as you can see here, I've got this Smartway shipping and posting scale box, the one that I actually did a review on. This was just one of the boxes I had to hand. Obviously this is gonna go through no trouble, but it's simply you know, a matter of just making sure that it fits through quite comfortably as this one does. Obviously if yours is uh, has more depth to the box, then you'll wanna make sure that you're not obviously forcing it through like I mentioned with the large lesser size guide review. Don't try and really, really force it through. You can ap apply a little bit of pressure just so then it goes through slightly, but you don't wanna force it. You don't wanna be really, really forcing it. You want it to go through quite easily. So you can see there, that one will quite easily go through, quite happily go through. So essentially that is it. That is the review of this Royal Mail size guide. As I say, it's quite a nice looking little size guide. I'll just tilt the camera down a little bit more to where it was previously. But as you can see, 
quite a nice little looking size guide I don't know whether I mentioned but this comes in at 589 on Amazon I will put a little bit of a graphic up at the start of the screen at the start of the video anyway uh, telling you the price but I think for five pound 89 it's not a bad little size guide it is a little bit more expensive than let's say some of the cheaper large letter and letter size guides but as I mentioned sometimes these small parcel guides can be slightly harder to find they're not incredibly hard to find they are out there but it's nice to actually grab yourselves one of these because I, I know not everyone will have one of these um, and possibly you can look into other alternatives of these as well I'm sure they may do plastic ones um, on certain different listings on Amazon and eBay um, and I may well do a review of a plastic one in future if I ever get one or if I find one um, but yeah I came across this one and I did quite like the look of it so yeah 589 on Amazon obviously the link will be down below as normal and uh, that's about it for this review. So I will say goodbye and thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.